This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. What did you make of the trade that they did uh, the day before with Milwaukee? You know, I saw a lot of people saying it was a great move for the Mets and like the, the Brewers, what are they doing kind of thing. I kind of saw it from both sides and I thought it was a pretty fair trade actually because when you look at it, say, I'll just go into Milwaukee's side for a quick moment, but when you look at their perspective, you know, Tyrone Taylor, Adrian Hauser, good players, uh, solid, useful players, but on that roster, they're probably number 24, number 25, number 23, somewhere in a lot, somewhere around that range probably, right, is, is where they were on the Brewers roster. And so for them, they're a team that wants to save a little bit of money, so they – uh, have these guys who are in arbitration. So, okay, you get you, you trade them, you unload a little bit of salary. I know people are like looking at those numbers and they're like, whoa, like that's that's that those are small numbers to be unloading, but that's the way life is for for the for the brewers. They they operate in a small margin. And so like a couple million dollars here or there, that is a big deal for them. It's a different world um based on their budget. Uh so for the Mets, look, they they needed those two spots like we could say that they, they are maybe toward the bottom of the roster as far as players go um they're not necessarily going to change the way you view the new york mets of course right uh but they needed somebody who was a fourth fifth sixth starter type back end pitcher they got him in adrian hauser and they got him at probably half the price that he would probably go for if he was a free agent so you're saving a little bit of money there and then with tyron taylor we had reported almost a month ago at this point, um, at least a few weeks ago, right at the start of, I believe it was the winter meetings. Uh, now that I think about it a little bit more that they've, they're in the market for like a defense type first outfielder, um, preferably somebody who bats from the right side. And Tyrone Taylor checks a couple of those boxes. And he's somebody that hasn't played a whole lot consistently. He was, he became part of the Brewers outfield rotation a little bit, um, but never really was one of the guys out there. But he, he does a lot of things well. You know, he runs really well. He has a strong arm. He's a capable defender at all three spots. I think his um, some of his underlying data will indicate that he hits balls usually pretty hard and makes some solid contact. So there's a lot to like there when you're probably viewing him as maybe your third or fourth outfielder situation. Um, so, yeah, I like the trade. I think with Crow, uh, Coleman Crow, the prospect who went over to Milwaukee, you know, you're dealing with somebody that I think the industry is a little bit low on. Uh, I think if he was not injured and if he had a larger sample size, we would see him a little bit higher up in the rankings. I know the Brewers like what they got in him and they see him as somebody who, like I'm saying, is somebody that is a little bit better than I think the industry is giving him credit for. But he's not healthy right now. You know, he's coming yeah. back from the surgery. So all that to say, it was, a, it was a pretty even trade. And I think that the Mets did well to shore up some areas in a smart and sort of cost-effective way that maybe allows them to do a little bit more um, in different areas.